International Journal of Health Policy and Management Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Hi, my name is Shervin Asari. I'm a University of Michigan faculty. I am at Department of Psychiatry, a research assistant professor. Um, I study health disparities and I work, uh, I compare social groups for the effect of same risk factors, what I call differential effect hypothesis or differential effect theory. So I compare social groups to see if the same risk factors or protective factors similarly influence different groups. And what I have found is that blacks have a lower chance of getting health benefit from the same resources. E regardless of what the resource is, if it is education, if it is employment or neighborhood quality, uh, then the same level of uh, that access to that resource would result in a higher level of health for whites, particularly white men. Uh, for example, in a recent study, I uh, compared white men, black men, black women, and other social groups for the effect of education, and I found the highest gain goes for most educated white men and almost no gain of employment for black men, especially black men who have least education. I call this unequal gain from equal resources. But why is that so? Uh, because the place that we live, the resources that we have, uh, are all shaped by our race, the intersection of race and gender. So uh, if you are a black man, you have a lower uh, chance of getting your education to a good employment. And you are uh, making less money from the same education compared to white men. So depending who you are, your education and your income, uh, differently translates to health outcomes. Then also, uh, what, what the, where does it fit to the literature, to the current literature? David William has shown that it's not, socioeconomic status does not explain the effect, fully explain the effect of health, uh, racism or race on health. He has shown that uh, depending on your race, socioeconomic status differently influence health of individuals. And there are um, larger disparities at the highest level of social structure or social level. And then there's also the research by Fuller Roval who has shown that education attainment is more costly, psychological cost and physiological cost for black kids. So while they are trying to go up the ladder, social ladder, there, are, there is more cost involved if you are black, especially black male. And also Daryl Hudson has shown that uh, high socioeconomic status black men report and blacks report highest level of discrimination and they are more depressed. So I have also some findings which may uh, be shocking. I have followed uh, black men and other social groups or I have used the data of black men and other social groups over time for 25 years and I have looked at who gets more depressed over time based on the level of education. For other groups, a high education credentials uh, is protective against future depression. For black men, if you follow black men, the most educated black men are the group who would be most depressed over time. That's one finding. And then you expect education to reduce the suicidal ideation. But among black women in the United States, in a national representative study, highest level of education, more suicidal ideation if you are black female. And then also, if you go and, and take a national sample of black boys in the United States and you look at the income level, um, family income, the more family makes money, the black boy is more likely to be depressed. So uh, income 
is not protective against depression among black boys in a national representative sample, it's a risk factor. There is also another one which is each unit of discrimination is more painful, causing more psychological pain at the highest level of socioeconomic status. I looked at how discrimination causes depression based on the level of income or subjective socioeconomic status of the black boys and I found that as so subjective socioeconomic status goes up, people become vulnerable to discrimination. So they do not expect discrimination and as they continue to be exposed, then they become more depressed. So these are some of the findings that are shocking and uh, talks about the same resource, not only sometimes because it becomes less effective in reducing the risk, sometimes become the risk factor given the social structure. I need to say that I do not believe that race is a biological construct. Race is a social construct and race is a proxy of access to opportunity structure. So the, being black male, uh, if you are a black male, your income may become a risk factor because of the society, not because you do not know how to use income. So what is the policy implication and what is the research implication? First, we do not know that what economic or public social policy would reduce or minimize this diminished gain or unequal gain from equal access. Uh, we know that uh, uh, segregation might be one reason that black men and blacks do not gain same health from the same resources. We know that the lending policy and labor market differential per preference and performance of labor market, which gives the better job to white men and also promotes white men more frequently than other groups, may be a reason. The policy solution should not be limited to equalizing access across groups, but also addressing the disproportionately higher rate of structural and societal barriers in the life of minorities. So the, um, evaluations should consider the fact that the same access, the same resource may not result in the same health outcome for blacks and other minority groups. Their social and uh, structural barriers should be specifically addressed. So one uh, um, take-home message is that health disparity research should not specifically or exclusively look at the differential exposures, suggesting that minority group does worse because they are more frequently exposed to risk factors and they have less access to resources. There is also a part of it which is due to differential uh, effects I, I talk about this as differential exposure versus differential effect hypothesis. Differential exposure suggests that differential, different populations have different exposure to risk factors and minorities have higher risk of exposure to risk factors. But differential, um, uh, differential effects suggest that the same risk factors or the same resources have differential effects across groups. So the take home message is health disparity research should also consider using differential effect hypotheses suggesting that the same risk factor or the same protective factor does not have the same effect across all groups.